So here's our Gata hot box facility. Um, it's, um, it's able to measure the thermal performance of wall systems. Or if we turn it around, we can actually lift it up and turn it into a floor, um, a system to measure the thermal performance of floors. It's really important to know how good our walls and our floors are so that we know whether we have building code requirements uh, for the amount of heat that goes through them. So in here we have, um, we have our sample on the right hand side and we have this metre box right over the middle of it. So the sample is about 2.6 by 2.4 wide. At the moment we've got a, um, a, a timber frame system with an insulation product in there. So the metre box is 1.2 metres by 1.2 metres and it sits over the middle of the sample so that we can get the average performance of the heat flow through this insulation and framing system. On the other side we have our warm side. Uh, over this side we have air at 20 degrees. Uh, the air will be coming in through the ducting over here. Uh, and our mixing fans make sure we get a constant flow of air and the air disappears out through here, as does all our data. So all the data we collect from here uh, it's got couples and thermopiles inside this area here. Uh, now that all uh, travels out through to the data acquisition system. So this is our data collection system. Um, a whole lot of wires, etc. come through, all the, all the numbers come through to here. Uh, you may be able to see we've got the temperature on the cold side on this graph, temperature on the warm side on the other graph. Because we've got the cabinet open, um, obviously those temperatures are the same at the moment. So um, once we've got the, uh, the system running for about three days, we've got some stable results. And you can see here um, that this is the long-term average. And we've got a very nice stable temperature of 31 degrees, so that was the warm side. And on the other side here, we've got slightly noisier, but still within a quite tight bound, the, uh, the cool side, 15 degrees in this case. Um, and you can see in this other graph that we have a bit of fluctuation but it's only over about 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a degree Celsius, which is fine for our purposes. So the data we get from here, we put into our processing systems, uh, which allows us to calculate very precisely what the R value of the building element is that we've been testing. Uh, so we can get it down to a, a, a very tight tolerance of what that R value is. Now that allows us to uh, advise clients on what the actual performance of their systems is uh, so that they can prove their compliance with building codes and regulations.